some breaking news out of Europe concerning Apple. Steve Kovac is here. He's got the details on that. Hey, Steve. Yeah, this is a $1.8 billion euro, or sorry, euro fine, rather, that's about 1.9 and change in U.S. dollars against Apple. This is over um, Apple Music in Europe. Spotify filed a complaint with the European Commission uh, several years ago. And this is all the same stuff, guys, that we've been talking about, just the, the fees that Apple takes, Apple's inability, or rather Spotify's inability to charge uh, within its app without actually uh, you know, taking a, or giving Apple that cut. Um, I've, Apple's response here, they said they are going to appeal the decision and they lay out, there's a big blog post going up any minute now from Apple, kind of ripping apart this decision, basically saying things like uh, Spotify has taken advantage of the Apple ecosystem by paying basically no commission fees by kind of getting around those fees. Um, I talked to one of Spotify's lawyers about this um, last week guys and their kind of their position on this is well you know we want to pay less fees of course they want to make more money but what they also say is you know apple's ecosystem wouldn't be as successful without uh, these third-party apps. Who wants to buy a phone that you can't, you know, download a third-party app on? So their position is, well, we're adding value to this Apple ecosystem to us and a lot of other developers. Clearly, the EU agrees more uh, with Spotify. This is going to be about 1.9 billion U.S. dollar fine for Apple. Of course, they're going to appeal and work through. But this is also, guys, coming ahead of later this week, the Digital Markets Act, that big uh, muscular EU law over there that's going to really crack down on Apple and Google and Facebook and, and so many other big tech, U.S. tech companies, uh, those rules go into a full effect. I'll have more reporting on that later this week. But uh, this is just one beat in just this big drama between these companies. Is this the one where they kind of whittled it down over time? Exactly. This is basically them saying you have to at least allow the developers to have their own subscription signups within instead of saying you have to use Apple Pay for these things Basically, too. yes. And that's going to be part of the Digital Markets Act as well. So these, these are separate cases but related. Uh, and so the Digital Markets Act in theory takes care of a lot of this. But we're looking here. This this fine... Uh, this is a much bigger fine. Than uh, it was reported 500 million euros. That's what I was and say. so this is more than double what people were expecting more than triple. Uh, the fine to be. Yeah, more than triple what yeah. people were expecting the uh, you heard me uh, just off air. I went, whoa, when yeah. the news came in. Right. It's, uh, this is a huge fine. And it also shows this Digital Markets Act, if, if violations of that, 10% of global revenue. So $400 billion for Apple, that's a $40 billion fine if they violate. Uh, obviously, there's you know, processes they can go through. So the, the fines are huge. And something, I mean, they've, they've already changed their policies on this. They changed the policies uh, at least a year or two ago because Japan was making noises uh, about some A of little bit, too. and it's different region by region. So what we've also seen Apple do, Becky, is, is kind of fight this region by region, jurisdiction by jurisdiction. The changes that they're going to make uh, to comply with the DMA later this month, or later this week, rather, it's only going to be in Europe. So you're going to have a different iPhone experience as a European customer than people in the rest of the world. But... A lot of people see those changes as emblematic of what they might have to do in the U.S. We're expecting any day now the DOJ to file their antitrust lawsuit against Apple, which uh, covers a lot of these same issues. So this could be a template for what we see around the world, even though this is happening in the U.S. I was now. just looking at some numbers, and I know Apple doesn't break this out, but I was right. looking at some numbers, some estimates of what these things are. And at least according to The Verge, some of the numbers are, that they've looked at on this, I think it's something like 1.8 or 8.3 billion in revenue that was taken in in Apple Music in 2022. Yeah. So if you compare that to the size of the fine, that's a pretty huge. It's big, but chunk Apple's of the more revenue. than just Apple Music. Whereas Clearly. you know Spotify's argument has always been, you know, they have this advantage; they can afford to lose money, uh, whereas we can't. And so that's part of their Spotify's argument as well, because Apple has way more businesses than just music, and it's of course not charging itself a 30% commission either. Maybe worth taking a look at Apple shares right now, too. Yeah. They're down, but just slightly, a decline of about seven or three quarters of a percent. Yeah, there, and there will be an appeal, and, the, and there's going to be more battles. It's not over. Apple's idea for complying with the European Commission rules, again, going in effect on Thursday, uh, Apple doesn't even know if they're in compliance with what the EC wants. So it's going to be an interesting experiment to see once that Apple puts us out there, if the EC agrees, you are in compliance. Of course, Spotify and so many other developers are saying, uh-uh, this isn't going to cut it. This is going against the spirit of the law. We need Apple for the market. Yes. And it hasn't, it's... And video, been and video, it's fine. 
has the, has the baton, baton been passed? I mean, sure. $2.7 trillion on, on Apple, but it has been the... the well, the baton's been passed to Microsoft. Right. Apple has no AI story to but tell the same all. way we Microsoft and Apple's NVIDIA do. Right, Apple's an important sign. It's been tough. Oh, yeah. What are they going to... Everyone's they got anything, 401k, my 401k. They got yeah. anything good coming out? Um, there's rumors that as soon as today we might get some new Macs Electric and iPads. Car? No, that's not happening. Yeah. But again, are new Macs and iPads going to change? You know what we've seen with the stock over it, the last couple of months? No, it hasn't. But it's been enough for the last couple of years yeah, to keep Apple it going. Is, Apple is putting enormous pressure on itself. This AI announcement that Tim Cook has been teasing for the last couple of weeks. Enormous pressure to deliver something truly groundbreaking and amazing because they keep, they never tease things in advance. Now they're teasing this in advance. And if it doesn't live up Better to that hype, yeah. yeah, look look out. The goggles aren't going to do it. Did you buy one? Are you out of your mind? <laughs> I didn't even buy one. I see people, they make fun of people already. I don't think, they I don't think Andrew's even bought it, and he's like the biggest fan of it. So to recap the breaking news, Apple is getting fined 1.8 billion euros, nearly $2 billion over Apple Music. Spotify is suing Apple over fees on the music app store ecosystem. Spotify wants to be able to charge their customers through their app without having to give Apple a cut of the money. Apple is obviously going to appeal this decision. Apple usually fights problems like this region to region and doesn't change the rules or laws for every continent. Shares are down about three quarters of a percent pre-market on Apple on this news. It's possible that there's going to be a new Mac and iPad announcement, but will that be enough to boost the stock? Apple is always in court for some reason or another. When you get the biggest, richest company in the world, everyone wants to sue them, but they have the best lawyers in the world and they're going to appeal the decision. This could take years to play out, guys. This only affects Apple Music in EU, not anywhere else in the world. And Apple Music is such a small part of Apple's money and business that they have enough cash to easily pay this fine off if they really wanted to, but they're gonna appeal it, hopefully get it overturned in the system. If not, I'm sure they're settle on a smaller amount and Apple will easily be able to pay it. They have hundreds of billions of dollars in cash. Hope you guys learned something. Hope you enjoyed the video. Catch you in the next one.